Tell out my soul the greatness of the Lord. Hello and welcome to Advent Doors. What we're going to do through each of the days up to Christmas is we're going to open a door on this virtual Advent calendar and whoever pops out uh, will say a few words from Mary's song, which you find in the first chapter of Luke's Gospel. Sometimes it gets called by its Latin name, the Magnificat. It's the song which Mary either said or sang when she went to see her cousin Elizabeth and when Elizabeth pronounced God's blessing over her. And what we'll also do each day is we'll have a short three minute reflection on the words which have been said by the person who opens up the door. Mary's song is the longest set of words uh, recorded as spoken by a woman in the New Testament. And if your view of Mary is that she is not much more than a meek vessel for bringing the Saviour into the world, then you might want to take a look at this song. In parts of it, she sounds very much like a revolutionary who wants to see unjust systems smashed up. Some down the ages have found her words to be dangerous. During the British rule of India, the Magnificat was prohibited from being sung in church. So we're going to look at it through a digital advent calendar over the next 24 days and we won't be leaving out the dangerous bits. If you'd like to be one of the people who opens one of the doors, uh, please do get in touch. Please uh, send me an email. We could involve people of all ages in this. And once lockdown ends at the end of tomorrow, it will be much easier to have people come into the church centre to take part. And I won't need to uh, badger the poor people who have a legitimate reason to be here at the moment. So if you'd like to open a door or you'd like your child to open a door, please do get in touch. Uh, it'd be great to uh, involve you in this project if you want to be. And whether you open a door or not, I hope you'll join us on this reflection through Advent on what one poor, pregnant, unmarried, revolutionary woman has had to share with the world.